Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Sims Proving Every Day. I'm Gina and we are back in Werewolves 5. And last time we had a uh, two date, two dates, two and a half dates with Lou and he stayed the night. We did some woohoo and here we are. Remember, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Help your girl out, please and thank you. All right, so in this episode, I would like to um, ask Lou to move in with us. I know we're moving kind of fast, but we do need to move things along, and this needs to get a little bit more entertaining. Um, as well as it's been announced that we are getting a new expansion pack on July 28th. So I want to do what I need to do with this one before that one comes out. It's spring, but it gets really cold in these here hills. Quick question, Lilith Pleasant and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Um, sure, I, wait, I, there's nothing wrong with that. Wait, Lilith, Lilith Pleasant, that's not the vampire, right? That's, Vittori? Vittori? Is that...? Hmm. I think Lilith Pleasant is the one with the red hair, right? And my toilet's broke. Great. But let's, um, let's clean that real quick. I'm gonna help her out, move these into the sink, and I think we should make some breakfast. And that sink broke. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go ahead and replace that one. Um, sir, breakfast. Uh, let's go with pancakes. Oh, okay, bye. It's all right. He's got, you know, he's got werewolf pack stuff to do. It's cool. For oh my gosh. We don't have uh, enough for bills. That, I think, is the first time in Sims history that I have not had enough for my bills. I mean, there's been times when I have neglected to pay them on time and had something turned off, but I've never not had enough for to cover the bills. Oh, that's oh, weird. Dark. That's weird for me. Okay. Um, so let's go scavenge around and see if we can find some collectibles. Let's go fishing. Let's uh, try to find some stuff. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and harvest all of that. Yeah, I know. I meant to do that on Saturday and I didn't. Thanks for reminding me. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. And we will start walking around a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's go have our daily chat with Greg. We're going to try to talk to him a couple of times again, see if that works. There he is. You know what? Um, no. Okay. I was going to try to queue it up a couple of times in a row, but it won't let me. Try it again. Yeah. Bread? Uh, oh, uh, Wibisus, Wibis, uh. Okay. Try it again. He's like, what are you doing? Like Kinda? Uh Arabe Yoba. Okay, and he's out. Alright, let's see if there's um any frogs over here. We'll go to our curator. Uh, 
Okay, no signs of amphibians at this time. Um, I know we pass Wolfsbane here. We'll harvest that. Uh, okay. And then we will change this back to England Ace. And we will go fishing. Okay, I caught a digital camera. That might be worth a couple bucks. As much as I'd like to keep it to start photography as well. Okay. One more hour and we'll have that part of our aspiration. So let's go ahead and stop fishing. A pot shard. Okay. I wonder how valuable those are. Um. Wef, wef. Benu Siblurf. Koba. Oh, do you, are there any, uh, wait, where did their little garden go? Is there anything I can harvest? I can evolve those. Okay. Oh, darn it. I should have had this on my freelance botanist because I had to evolve stuff. Okay. I can only... Okay, I can evolve that one. I can evolve that one. I can evolve that one. This is a definitely, I, I feel like this is definitely a little bit cheaty. But let's go explore the tunnels. Oh, we might find something in the tunnels. Okay, let's go. Uh, the tunnels are damp and Gina can't seem to escape the smell of wet dog. Uh, as Gina rounds a corner in the tunnels, she hears what sounds like a slight rumble or a murmur. A few steps later, the sound gets clearer and scarier. Something nearby is growling. Investigate. We know all of the werewolves, so it shouldn't be a problem. As Gina moves towards the sound... Or the growling ceases as she continues to search for whatever was making the noise. Her hands, her hand lands in something sticky. What? What am I touching? A quick, <laughs> a quick glance reveals that it's food. It looks like an abandoned snack. Okay, you. <laughs> I got an onion though. Okay. Uh. Sorry, Maz is going off here. Uh, Gina can make out some light ahead. It must be an exit. Okay, so all I got was a damn onion. And you know what's kind of been in the back of my mind is that ever since we've seen Lou transformed, I didn't do anything like I didn't disable the furry effect or anything like that, but we haven't seen him back in his werewolf form since we've seen him in his human form. So I hope... Oh, I don't need to examine that. I just want to fish. Um, I hope that, you know, there's not a bug or something going on that's making it to where he's not transforming back. I mean, I'm totally happy keeping him in human form. I mean, he's pretty, <laughs> but that's not what the game is about this time. And it's raining. All right. And I wasn't on my fishing aspiration. See, that's the only problem with switching the aspirations like I'm doing is sometimes falls through the cracks. Okay. I caught a daisy. I don't care about a daisy. Although, let's um, 
Let's actually go home. It's raining and she's going to be in a crappy mood. Well, actually, she likes the rain. Um, but let's go serve dinner or have dinner. Uh, let's see what we have that we can sell. Okay. How much were our bills? Four? 480 something? Oh, I can't wait. There's another way to do that. Phone. Household. Bills. 483. Okay. So let's see what we can sell. Can we sell that for a dollar? Okay. Um, I'm trying not to sell the fish because we might be able to sell those at the fair. So let's sell the mounted fish because we can't sell those, I don't think. Um, how much is this camera worth? Two sixty. Um, <laughs> or ten dollar. How much is this stuff worth? 125 50 Oh, I don't want to sell those yet, though. Okay, let's sell... Um, let's sell that stuff. Okay, that's at least enough to pay the bills. Alright. And I'm just going to keep an eye kind of on the door in case... Uh, our friend Lou comes by. Oh, he's calling. What? Just wanted to let you know we're moving. Call me whenever you want to hang out. We're mo- What? What? You- No, no, sir. You're not. You're not moving. Um, so let's actually- Let's actually call him and invite him over. And see if he'll come over. And see if we can- <laughs> I don't even know where he actually lives, but let's invite him over because we're going to try to get him to move in. That was the plan anyway. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pause this before he decides to like take off. Oh, well, let's whisper. The door. <laughs> and friendly. Uh, Dana Arm. Lex. Join household? Is that the same thing? Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess if that's... What is the difference between ask to move in and ask to join household? I guess we'll find out. Moving in together? Okay. See, he didn't even have a house in the world, so I don't know what the we're moving. Maybe he was just doing that to be like. Oh, so, you know, we're moving. Uh, Yeah, call me if you want to hang out to get me to, like, ask him to move in. It worked. But he did bring over 20,000 simoleons and... Um, this is not a rags to riches, so I'm going to allow it. All right, so now, Mr. Lou, now that you are in our household, we are going to modify you just a little bit, bud. Okay, so this is the first time I'm seeing um, how werewolves are in create a sim hi okay all right so his aspiration is werewolf initiate so as his bonus he got lunar confident okay that's his um oh he's a kleptomaniac we haven't got that third trait from just getting to know him yet but that's okay i can live with that what's this link filters what parts to link okay um, I do want to deepen his voice just a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we're just going to check out all his clothes and everything. Okay. Oh, his, uh, formal is not too terrible. 
He, just in the short time that we've been playing, he has gotten more buff. Oh, oh he does have some damage. Not damage, just scars. Hot weather. Okay, so they have cold weather outfits. They just don't automatically change into them, I guess, when they're um, cold or when they're in their werewolf form. Maybe they don't. They don't. All right, so. Oh, <laughs> naked. <laughs> Okay, so it's the same. I love how his little ear flops over. That's so damn cute. Okay, but we're worried about him in his human form. Um, okay, so I do want to give him some eyelashes. And give him those. And we do want to change his eyes to the noodle eyes, and they're brown. Um, oh, I like those. Mm, yeah, I like those. Oh my god, he is so damn cute. Oh, I just can't. Oh, okay. Um, and I know I said that my sim is a little probably too polished for this area, and I am going to give her a makeover. Um, I'm just going to do that off camera. All right, so we're going to go ahead and accept that. that. And like I said, I know that they're supposed to be a little rough around the edges and stuff. Um, I might change a couple of Lou's outfits to not be so tattered. I mean, I realize that's the whole thing, but... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I'm thinking since we have a little bit of cash now, thank you very much, Lou. I appreciate that. Um, we might go ahead and upgrade the house just a little bit. Let's see where we're at. How big is this lot, actually? Because, uh, we could still put a little greenhouse on it somewhere if we change a couple things around. Um, so that'll be fine. I'll probably do that off camera. Um, alright. So... And then I'm trying to decide if, you know, we should have, like, because obviously we're going to get married and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if we should have a big wedding or if I should become a werewolf first. Um, I think, you know what, I think we should become a werewolf first. Um... Um, can he, okay, yeah, I have, oh, oh, I haven't seen all this yet. Okay, so they do have an ability tree, okay, he's got sensitive hearing, things like the TV, loud radio, instruments, and other noise can cause, cause fury to rise in this sim. Um, night wolf, night wolves prefer sleeping during the day, and again, fury, and not, and again. And gain fury when deviating from a nocturnal sleep cycle. Okay. So what is fury? I'm guessing this is fury. Okay. Fury envelops werewolves like a beautiful flaming blanket. As fury grows, their animalistic instincts begin to manifest and will eventually take over. Fury gain is c constant and is hastened by temperaments, preferences, werewolf abilities, the full moon. Be careful out there. Okay. So they have all the same needs um ability points okay so he's got five he's a pup runt so he's a runt right now okay so ferocity intimidate other sims for fun and profit 
Uh, we can now bear his fangs. As symptoms fleeing in terror. With any luck, they'll drop their wallet too. Uh. It's time you learned that beds are just suggestions. Now Lou can crawl up into a ball and sleep anywhere. Territory marking. Leave a mark in the world and relieve bladder need. Your world is your canvas. Scavenger. Dig up treasures and artifacts. I think I want my sim to get that one, definitely. Um, or these ones he already has because they don't have a Point. Okay. Uh, personal grooming. Okay. Well, I think I think that would I think personal grooming would be just an instinctive kind of thing. Um. Somber howl. Learn a howl that reduces fury. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, we've got three more. Uh, Hunter, learn to hunt for food. Werewolves want it fresher. Wherever he is, Lou will be able to hunt for food out in nature's buffet and grab a bite. Um, that might come in handy. The will to resist. Regain control while rampaging. With some added mental fortitude, a large dollop of willpower, and a few breathing exercises, Lou can now attempt to regain control after losing it and entering a rampage. If successful, Lou will immediately stop rampaging. Okay, hold on. Is there an alpha thing up here? Super speed, okay. Alpha wolf, okay. Um, these fledgling pups are beneath you now. As a natural alpha, enjoy quicker pack advancement, the ease of taking leadership of the pack, a pack, and better results when fighting other werewolves. And if you run into Greg, give him a taste of his own medicine. Okay. Well, I know I definitely want to climb up that tree. Um, immortal. Requires the natural healing ability to be unlocked. Okay, so that's going to be natural healing. I kind of want to get as many of these as possible for both of us, but... Um, the most forbidden howl. Release what little remains of lose humanity and succumb to the moon's glow. Be warned. You may never be the... Ooh. Legacy of the Lichen. Turn ability points into satisfaction points. Okay. Uh, Lou's journey as a werewolf knows no it ends. As he continues to rank up, he can turn that extra werewolf knowledge into 250 satisfaction points. This ability may be taken multiple times. Okay. I, okay. So we want to... You know what? We want to get all of them anyway. So we've got three. So let's get territory marking. Smell, Hunter, and that's what we'll get for now, and then Dormant Abilities. Dormant Abilities are available at any tier and don't require spending ability points. So I don't know if my microphone just picked up that sound. It sounded like plastic hitting the ground. My little dog has figured out how to take out the cup holders in the couch, and she throws them on the ground when she's not getting enough attention. All right, each is unlocked by completing the relevant objectives for that ability. Oh, okay, so since these are different colors, do we have these or do we have, okay. Oh, okay. So we have transformation mastery, transform into beast mode at will, and we have werewolf empathy, help pacify other werewolves, okay. Um, successfully ask for werewolf sympathy on a non-werewolf sim. Unlocked by running ferocious intimidation, turn into werewolf or vicious howl on a sim who is already frightened while below maximum fury. 
unlocked by running practice howling share werewolf experience or pack mentor as a veteran werewolf on a good friend werewolf and unlocked by reading werewolf related literature okay okay that was a lot to take in i know and i'm gonna have to revisit it i'm sure um but i don't think i don't think he has the ability to um only werewolves can join packs uh i don't think he has the ability yet to turn people so i might have to ask rory all right so let's finish out this day and then we will go ahead and call it good and then i hope that he he still does his werewolf stuff without me having to control it all the time but maybe not I don't know if you guys caught it in that last menu, but she still wants to complain about that damn fruitcake. Yeah, he can't decide if he wants to stay dry or not. Okay. Oh, and his satisfaction. Okay, become a werewolf, level up to runt, experience a full moon, read werewolf books. Okay, so he's read one. Does he have anything? And he does not. She's so flirty. Okay, you know, let's just do this again because, uh. That's just the mood they're in. I'm sorry. It is. No, I'm not going to join Party House. <laughs> I woohoo to world. I love that. I love that one. That's funny. Completely satisfied. Okay. So, I think we're actually going to go look for rory and we're gonna see if she will change me okay so here's rory um more choices i th i thought it was i thought it was under here um okay friendly Werewolf packs. Cursed by. <clears throat> Pregnant Sims can't be bitten. Uh, okay. Uh. Well, that changed. <laughs> oh, that's a way to find out. Um, that changes things. Um. Um, okay, so <laughs> now, okay, if that's true, if, if my sim is pregnant and, um, like it's not just some weird bug or something, then that's actually going to add a little bit of drama to the series because if, I, I don't know if a half- werewolf baby would still be considered a werewolf if they would have the ability to change but the point of the series was that i wanted a whole werewolf family so if we're going along with the storyline that i want to either take over a pack or obviously maybe start my own pack then having a half human baby might make them feel left out or not as good or not as important but we will obviously need to see how that plays out so um i think she needs to take a test to see because uh that was a very 
surprising way to find out. So let's, um, uh, whoa, okay, let's, let's, uh, I wasn't super ready for that, but it happens. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be okay. Um. Uh, okay. Um, he doesn't sound too upset. He's still flirty. He's not mad. He's, uh. It's ecstatic after hearing news about a new family member, so... Okay. She already looks really big. I hope there's only one in there. Does she have... I didn't, like, give her any kind of, like, fertile traits or anything. Hi, Lily. What? I think Cameron Fletcher is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? Sure. Um... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, like, bought the, like, fertility trait or anything, so, but, <laughs> Charity looks huge, oh my god, okay, <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what's happening right now, all right, so, this is a great place to go ahead and wrap up this episode, that was totally a surprise. Um, anyway, uh, what is my usual saying? I don't even know anymore. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Questions, kind comments, and feedback are always welcome. And remember, be a nice human or werewolf. <laughs> Bye, everybody.